very good morning to you. The next 13th place semi final is between Sri Lanka and Zambia. These two teams searching opening wins here at this tournament. Sri Lanka, the Tuskers, as they are known, in their green shirts. Zambia in white for this one. There's the Zambia team, Israel Kalumba is their captain. And for Sri Lanka, they're led by the man they call Suri, Srinath Yabandara Suri. Try for him already this weekend. Just two wins from 30 Commonwealth Games matches played for Sri Lanka. They've been to every Commonwealth Games and have taken the wooden spoon in the last five, so they're hoping to get a win here change that record up against the Zambian team that have done pretty well as this tournament has continued. And we are underway. Sri Lanka with early possession. The Tuskers, as they are known, they lifted the roof here at Coventry Stadium on day one when they scored a try against... New Zealand. Rob Vickerman alongside with the commentary for this one. Should be a good con contest. It should be very much more even than perhaps these teams have faced in their previous rounds. This is so difficult. The fifth game of this tournament. The fatigue is high. The weather also played against some slight drizzle in the air. It can really affect exactly what you just see there. Those little tiny catches, the adjustments that the hands needed to try and take that ball in. You combine both the fatigue and the conditions and this could be a bit of a slog this one two teams like to get their big players running hard Zambia's record so far they have improved lost their first two games by an average of 43 points last two defeats much closer just 12 points the difference so Bit by bit, they are finding their feet. Good defensive set has won the possession here, and they've gotten a good attacking opportunity early on. Melvin Dunder, mining student from the Leopards Club. And here's Lawrence Koshiku setting up a breakdown. He's a civilian officer in the Air Force. Most of these players employed by the Zambian Air Force. Loose ball again, it's anybody. They're playing a bit of football out there. Always under pressure, pressure just a knock on. Well, they're the big carries mentioning. There's a big character as well. Alicia Broglie. Marauding around the pitch. Love to see that. A lot of this play being in the depths of Sri Lanka's quarter. Sri Lanka's results. Crouch. Not the best to witness, but they went really well against England. Probably their standout performance, actually. They had a lot of ball, they used it well. Another defensive scrum for them. They'll try and work their way out of danger here. Here's Ashan Ratwate. Suri now the captain over the halfway line. Buys a bit of time, nicely done. Back to Fernando. He skips past a, a couple of Zambian defenders. Ducks under a slightly high tackle. Here's Chandaras. Petarachi now. Senevi Ratna. Good passage of play this by Sri Lanka. Nice sidestep. And the offload in contact. Heavy defence coming in from Melvin Banda. Still alive though for Sri Lanka. Nigel Ratwate, he's got support, Ratwate. Six metres out, good tackle, Zambia. They've got the penalty, Sri Lanka. They go quickly. Crowd willing them forward. And they're over. Well, a well-deserved score for Nigel Ratwate. The Tuskers are in. Well, Ratwate does right to stand somewhere near Suri. Suna Suribanda, he is the pivotal player for Sri Lanka. The ball off the floor, making friends with Nigel. Love that one. Great pop off the floor. That's where you need to be. Smattered Zambian defenders all over, but not contesting around that contact. And it was all too easy. The only Asian team to play 
at every Commonwealth Games since 1998. The version doesn't make it, remains 5 nothing. But a good start from Sri Lanka, absorbed that early pressure, found a way out of their danger zone and picked up some points. Three survivors of the 2018 Coms Games team in the Sri Lanka outfit. Seven series. They finished six at that tournament. That was enough to get them here to the Commonwealth Games. Options or dribbling. Okay. Whoa, that's that's out there. Backwards by green and backwards by white. Still the Zambian ball here. Shuki secures possession. Flung out by Kalumba. Got to be careful with those tackles known as seat belt over the shoulder. They try and get those legs. They're not making it easy for them, Zambians. So physical in how they carry. Edmund, Mama, you were there with it. <laughs> Koshiku changes direction. Sets up a breakdown. They're going to work the short side here and an opportunity for an overlap. Yeah, here's a chance for Alex Mawewa. Zambia hit back right under the posts. Alex Mawewa. Lovely combination on this near side, taken forward by Banda. And what a feeling it must be now when you've got the wheels out wide. A canter to get round the defence. Chandradas trying his best but not getting near. Zambia, number nine. Wise round for his team. Alex Mawewa, another civilian officer in the Air Force. Came through the Mufurilla Rugby Academy. Known for his pace, as you've just seen. That's 15s and 7s for Zambia. Commendable effort, head coach, Andrew Kaminsa, getting these players together. One of those players, people who's more of a, a mentor than a coach, whilst he develops the rugby of these Zambian players. He guides them quite a lot in their life aspects as well. That's always nice to see. Close knit communities, rugby teams. And they're playing all right here. And a kick in the direction of Banda. Just getting across was Ramesh Fernando. And now here come Sri Lanka again. Might open up for them. Lovely quick hands from Fernando. Suri, the captain again. He's the heartbeat of the side. What a pass that is for Dancha Shandaras. Inside ball. Diluc Shadanga still alive. This is lovely stuff from Sri Lanka. One more pass. Might do it. Flicks out the back. Ratwase gets cleaned up by Mukosa. They get the penalty, though. It's still on. There are two players, a player from either side. Lying on the no, field no. in back play. It's six on six at the moment. There's a yellow card to Alicia Bulaya. The mark is here. Throwing the ball away. Instant yellow card in sevens. Two minutes on the sideline. And what a shame. That was a really impressive passenger play. I think Suri's in the background, injured on the floor. I want to make sure he's okay. What a player he is. Ben Breaksby's just going to wait for these players to get to their feet. You have to drag Suri off with it. A couple of security guards. He doesn't want to leave the field. There might well be. Because he is not walking well. Time on. That was 90 seconds of scintillating sevens. Really good. Here they come again. Sri Lanka. They're going to get the score. Flying in. Dantia Chandanas. Oh, what a moment for him. And Sri Lanka back in front. The original break, quick hands, lovely touches, the awareness, knowing where players are, defence coming in, lovely floaty ball over the top. Chan just the man who ends up scoring it, taking them forward then, and from the penalty against six men, just simple hands, getting it wide, slight overlap, a little bit of deception with the ball in two hands, 
job done from Sri Lanka. That was brilliant play. Marching up the pitch and getting the lead in this game. Extra two. Conversion miss, so it remains 10-7 to Sri Lanka over Zambia at halftime. Your possession, so just need to try and wind down the Simbin clock. It's a minute to play with six here, Zambia. Last thing more closer. Mawewa, really good try from him. Nice inside ball back to Makosa. Just can't hold on to it. And a chance again for the Sri Lankans to no advantage. counter. Not one. Set the scrum. Yeah, this is going to be a difficult position for the Zambians. This scrum on their left hand side. With a player down, you still have to put three players in this scrum. And it means that the player feeding in the ball has to be quickly closed down. Otherwise, it's a three on two with a big bit of field in the background. Okay, so he's coming. I don't know why there's still seven players on the pitch for Zambia, mind. Yeah? One's gone off now, that's, that's more like it. <laughs> so, seconds, you can see left on the, the yellow card. So the two defenders in the background have to try and cover essentially 50 metres and three defenders. The easiest way to stop this is for Kushi to try and jump on top of his opposing man. And he has This is going to be difficult. Ratwate. To Ashan Ratwate. Long pass out to Ramesh Fernando. Little stop go. Being well defended for now. By the Zambians. Here's Nigel Ratwate finding a way round. Sri Lanka extend their lead. The yellow card costing Zambia again. A little bit of sevens inexperience from Zambia with the man down. You've got to try and really make it quite impressive. Sri Lanka attack really good, keeping that ball alive off the floor. And once again, fleet footed skills for Nigel Ratwate. Okay, Not much space down that sideline, but he finds it. Nigel on his back. He's got a brace. As many points as his number. Yeah, two tries. For Nigel Ratwate. That's a pat on the back from Ramesh Fernando. Yeah, they enjoyed that on the sideline as well. Mutuals in the crowd here. Conversion off the upright, didn't make it, so 15-7. Zambia back to the full complement of seven players. That'll help them no end here. Two-score game, though, now. Plenty of time, just under five minutes. This team's Penalty, Sri Lanka. Good work at the breakdown. The just winning the, the important battles here at the moment. Better carry from Zambia, though. You want to see the likes. And yeah, going forward with it. Chip over the top from Nigel Ratwate. Not held on to. And Mokosa. Okay. Works out for them. Not one of those chips you practice in the back garden, wasn't it? Just chip over the top, try and regather it yourself. Run clear for the try. It's a great visions of you trying that in your garden there. <laughs> but it's good. I like to see players trying that individual flair. A lot of space in behind the game of sevens. Everyone talks about the width of the pitch, but the depth is exactly the same as 15s. And see how many times the ball's kicked in that version. Plenty of space out there. The difference is for Zambia, they rely on the pace of Alex Mawewe. Just slightly offset the line, see on the right hand side. That buys him enough time to be able to cover that kick across. But if Sri Lanka take the ball forward and he steps up, then the kick most definitely is still on. Bind. Set. 
Here come the Tuskers again. Really are keeping the ball in hand well. There's none up. Akara running clear. Track back defence required. Might still get there. He does. What a finish that is. They spread it wide off the set piece scrum. And Nana Yakara has scored a scintillating try for Sri Lanka. Lovely hands, and he just backs himself. At this point, you think for all money, Alex Mawera has got him. Barely sprinting the number nine from Zambia, but he gets done on that outside and then plenty of clear space. Nani Ankara has got a deceptive gait. Lovely running style. The ankle tap coming in, one of the worst ways to be tackled. I don't think he was completely aware of the Zambian defenders coming in as the Air Force man glides along the floor. But it smiles all around, kiss of the wrist, point to the sky. And that's still a elated sideline for the Sri Lankans. Time off, of course now, they're just there. Just wait. Just wait. Third win in Commonwealth just wait. Games just wait. history. Two wins in the 98 games. That was against Trinidad and Tobago okay. and Barbados. Time back on. Zambia, can they respond? Mike Masoba from the Green Buffaloes Club. Described as a running machine of this Zambian team. They're going to need a bit of that now. 20 to 7 down. A little over two minutes to go. Another good tackle. Shrunken defense has just been eating up Zambian ball runners all game. They decide to kick. Brian Umbalwe. Here's a foot race worth watching. Umbalwe and the try scorer. From Sri Lanka and Balwe has it. He pops it up. They will score. Davy Chimbukulu in for Zambia. This one ain't done, folks. Well, what impact from the sideline. The big number five pumped as he runs back. But this is how you make it happen. You put it on the foot. The weather conditions as well make this a real neutralizer. Lovely pop off the floor. What clever skill that was. Bombale seeing it up. That is composure. Looks around. Little flick of the wrists. Six points the difference. Just over a minute to go. Still in the balance. These games for the minor places still mean an enormous amount to these players. And Sri Lanka. Over the halfway line again. Oh, the defender just shrugged off by Ashan Ratwate. And that might well seal this one for the Tuskers. Well, put yourself in the position of Ashan Ratwate here. He knew there was space to go. He sees the gap, lovely off to get off the floor, but then he can hear, feel, and no doubt sense the approaching defender coming in. Nakoma just needs to stay on his feet for that little bit longer. He goes for the short grab at the top. The Fijian tactic of how to defend at times, but if he took the legs, he gets him down. He doesn't, and it's heartbreak for Zambia, but what an effort from Sri Lanka. Ashan Ratwate. Good day for the Ratwates. Nigel's got two. Ashan's got... One of his own, not brothers, worth noting. 27-14, this will be the final play. Zambia, they'll fight to the end. They've been a great credit to this tournament. Crowd have really enjoyed them playing, but they've been smuggled away by Nigel Ratwate. He's everywhere. Is Nige? Oh, ball over the top. It's going to run away from Banta Chandaris, and that will be that. A warm round of applause from this big Coventry Stadium crowd here. The 13th place semi-final has been won by Sri Lanka. They've beaten Zambia by 27 points to 14. Hundreds of years of history between our next two combatants, but not necessarily on the seven.